Hello, my name is PJ Simpson Hyderis. I'm the director of the PhD program in translational biomedical science here at the University of Rochester School of Medicine and Dentistry. Welcome, and I'm very happy that you're taking a few minutes out of your time to look at our video and see if our program for translational biomedical science may be a fit for you for your graduate education. The whole concept of translational science is a new way of explaining how we want to make ideas from basic research turn into usable and viable ideas that can apply to patient populations to improve the health of basically our nation's population. What our Translational Biomedical Science PhD is really trying to create a new kind of investigator not one that just is, is, is focused on a, a small number of principles, but a much broader view. And we believe that these people are going to be the leaders. They're going to be the, 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 the directors of research institutes because they will have the breadth of, of both the basic science and the clinical science to look at the big picture. Translational is the buzzword now, and to be able to survive in science, you have to have a good understanding of all the different kinds of science that's out there so you can apply your work. One of the big advantages of our PhD program is the ability to design a didactic coursework as well as research rotations that are specifically tailored to your career goals and research interests. We work with the student in the beginning of their second year and their mentor to devise a plan that structures how you are going to receive training to meet your research goals. You can pick classes that will be important for the community-based type research as well as the basic science research. So the spectrum of class choices is quite huge. We have a variety of social sciences, like economics and psychology that are important. We have a whole variety of applied opportunities from the engineering and bioengineering programs. We have a world-famous optics program here. We have a world-famous laser lab. We have a world-famous music school. I can do clinical research, but yet the person standing next to me presenting a poster next to me is working on malaria. She's looking into petri dishes while I'm hooking up people to an EMG machine. And that really adds a breadth of knowledge to our program that's really important for becoming attractive to uh, job applications. I liked having a program that was as excited about my research as I was. Another unique aspect of our program is the ability to choose a mentor who is really a mentoring faculty member of any PhD program within the university, not just the medical school, but also the arts and sciences and engineering campus, as well as our famous Eastman School of Music. We are really um, pushing having a primary mentor and a co-mentor. So if you elect a basic research project as your area of research focus, your primary mentor is going to end up being probably a PhD or an MD PhD who has much more experience in basic research. Well, to get the translational aspect, it's very important to have a clinical person also as a co-mentor on your research team. It takes a whole village to raise a child because I see that uh, the involvement of so many people um, would help me grow as a researcher. We make it very important that you learn survival skills to work in an academic research environment. The types of skills you learn are grant writing, where you actually submit a grant, communication skills, where you learn how to give an oral presentation, as well as poster presentations, so you engage an audience and make sure they come and see your poster. We also teach you how to write a manuscript, the basic structure of those, as well as how to peer review a manuscript, because an important part of your career development is to learn how to to give back to other researchers in the community and review manuscripts submitted to journals. All the resources for the CTSI are available to the PhD student. We have a variety of pilot study grants, for example, uh, that are available to trainees. In fact, we have a whole separate section for trainees. We have seminars uh, that brings the whole community together. We have special symposia in the fall and the spring, obviously open to students. Our PhD program builds on a very strong tradition here at the University of Rochester. The whole approach to premature infants who are born without production called surfactant in the lungs was developed here. We had the development here for the Haemophilus influenza bacteria uh, 
vaccine, the first vaccine to prevent cancer. The basic discoveries were here at University of Rochester. We're very proud of this tradition, and we want to continue that tradition uh, in our classrooms at the Translational Biomedical Science PhD. Rochester is a great place to live because it's a big enough city, there's lots to do, we have great music, and we also have four seasons. With the Finger Lakes not too far away, there's all kinds of water activities and hiking activities. It's just it's a fun place to live. If you would like further information about our program, please contact me by email, or you can visit our website as shown at the bottom of the screen. Well, thank you very much. See you. Bye-bye.